another grueling turn of DAC2, and I say grueling in the best uh, of possible ways. Uh, the Germans really thought they had it all locked up uh, and were going to just pound the snot out of the Allies on the 5th of July on their turn. Uh, they were playing uh, second as the Allies won initiative, and uh, the intention was for them to, uh, these low ammo units here that had retreated and formed a fairly decent stack. Uh, I'll tell you what's in there in just a second. Uh, so the Allies, the Axis thought, okay, well, we'll bring up Rommel's uh, and, him, and the 5th uh, LE and the 15th Panzer, and we'll really, take, we'll really take it to these guys. So last turn they had moved part of the way up, and then this turn they moved the rest of the 15th Panzer up. You'll note there's a yellow counter down there. There's actually a DG and non-DG units in the hex. Uh, and I thought, wow, gee, I've got so many factors here. Oh, so the Allies uh, DG these guys in a reaction uh, barrage. Nice job uh, using aircraft. And, and I'm pretty sure I got that right. I'm not sure if I did that correct. But nevertheless, so they were DG. And uh, so they said, hmm, I think we've got more than enough factors here, so we'll just take these guys on at a, you know, uh, what would be roughly a uh, four or six to one attack uh, based on best guess, because I didn't check the stack. So uh, go ahead and uh, do the odds. Well, we find a uh, red box RT unit, which changes all of the values of the armor here. It reduces the effectiveness of the armor. Well, that pops the odds down uh, fairly significantly. Uh, long story short, uh, I had more factors in here than I thought I did uh, because of the uh, un dg infantry units. Combined all those together, uh, we got a 6-1 to one attack, lost surprise. <laughs> Drop down two columns, roll on the 3-1 to one table, Frickin' disaster, lose a regiment. These guys uh, had to lose a step and uh, uh, retreat, elected not to retreat, and took an additional step loss out of one of their brigades, which of course can have two steps. So uh, we, the Germans uh, failed to breach or, or secure this little hex side here, which is an escarpment hex side. And that would have then led us to be uh, uh, pounding away to cut off Mercer. Uh, next turn. I uh, managed to pull a whole bunch of supply in for the uh, Axis, uh, doing a lot of uh, shuffling and, and whatnot. Uh, the Allies realized the threat and uh, Campbell moved up uh, his forces here in a reaction move to put some pressure on this flank. Really didn't do a whole lot because the Germans just turned around and used the Italian artillery and digi those guys. So, a bit of a mess in here at this moment. Uh, it's the exploit phase right now. There's really nothing to exploit or exploit with. And so, uh, we're going to move on to the 8th of July turn. And uh, whoever gets um, initiative is going to have a, a lot of choices and a lot of opportunities. Uh, this, these DG markers are going to come off for the, uh, for the access player. Yeah. I have been fairly spacky with the old tweezers lately. So, and there's another one in here that we need to take off as well. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to have to rebuild that uh, regiment to I want to keep that division whole. So that's the that's kind of the update. And uh, no, nothing else much going on. We'll get back to you real soon.